Well, hello, hello, what's up, guys? It is I, Deltray, and we are back with some more Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3. Last time, we conquered Bethla Garrison, set loose the flood, and managed to put a temporary stop to this war. And today, we're gonna go to Limberry Castle and find our sister, or at least make our way in that direction. Now, before we can do that, I actually wanted to finish all the propositions that I could do at this point, but then I remembered, oh yeah, there are side quests that you can do in Act 4. And, uh, in order to actually get to some of the propositions that I wanted to do, I have to get this cutscene, so let's go ahead and do this. This will allow us to do some side quests later on in the game as well. You have to do this if you want to get those done. All you really need is to have Mustadio alive and in your party. You don't need to use him for any of this, but without him, you can't actually unlock the quest to begin with. So keep that in mind. Don't boot him, even if you don't want to use him. This is what you found in the drift. Yes, when I started digging last week at drift number 57, I tried to take it apart, but I didn't know what to prod where. What is this steel ball? That is a kick-ass party member, Mustadio. That's what that is. Seriously, worker rate is so good in this. <laughs> Honestly, he's kind of ridiculous. W what is this? Did it respond to the stone? What's this? <laughs> how, how, how would he say that? It's it's the Aquarius sign, but... What's this doodly doodly mark? I don't know, Dad. You tell me. So you gotta do that. Which will unlock a side quest, obviously, uh, involving this mysterious metal object. Uh, we'll see about that when we see that. I'm not getting that guy just yet, but spoiler alert, it's a party member. So you may or may not want to get him, depending on your persuasion. Like I say, he's pretty good. But that's for later. For now, we gotta move our ass all the way back over here. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Alright, so here we are. We're going to Zargidas Trade City. Like I said, this is actually not a fight. I'll actually show you guys... I'll show you guys how the propositions went and whatnot after we knock this out as well. Just one more cutscene real quick, and then we can go kick some ass, basically. Or at least that's the plan. And this is another situation where you have to do a specific thing in order to get a side quest later. It's pretty easy, of course. All you gotta do is say yes to this girl, right? So... Would you like a flower? It's only one gill. What? Flowers? This time of year? What's wrong? You've never seen a flower before? O of course. Won't you buy it? Sorry, not this time. I don't want one of the most broken characters in the game. Or, okay, I'll buy it. So yeah, I'll just say that. I do think it actually costs a, a gill, I think. But, I mean, honestly, it's this or don't get Square's golden boy, basically. Alright, I'll buy it. Really? Thank you. What a shitty business model. <laughs> one gill at a time? Are you kidding me? In a place like this, not a lot of people buy flowers around here. When is my knight in shining armor going to take me away from here? Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me for babbling. Thank you so much for buying the flower. Bye. Seriously, this girl. No business sense whatsoever. <sighs> it's just the day and age. Now, why does this seem so familiar to me? Hmm. Okay, so. <laughs> there were a ton of propositions. We took care of all of those. Uh, and I'm also set up... I think I'm set up. I hope I'm set up for the next fight. I guess we're going to see how that goes. But I don't really think that these next few are honestly all that hard. Uh, especially not the first fight of Limberry Castle. It's pretty easy. But we'll see if... I don't know. I guess it depends on how these next one goes. Yeah, I don't think these next few fights are honestly all that hard. Uh, especially if you already are kind of familiar with how they go. So we got my G here. He's kind of doing like a paladin type thing. Got the guts. Got the white magic defense up because... Honestly, the enemies start hitting pretty hard at this point, so that extra little bit of damage mitigation helps out quite a bit. He's got the broken-ass Excalibur, so he's going to start the next fight hasted. And I gave him a bunch of speed boosting crap. Flash Hat, Cure, Beanie Mail, and Sprint Shoes all boost speed. We got the Flash Hat over the Thief Hat again, because the Thief Hat gives like 40 HP, which ain't crap, really. <laughs> Especially not with as uh, hard as some of these enemies hit going forward. Definitely a good item, but I don't think we want to hear, basically... So we also have Dynamite as a Mediator, and the reason for this is because I realized that... Well, first of all, I want to steal all the crap off that one guy that we'll be seeing soon. And it's going to be very difficult to do that because he has the Blade Grasp ability, which means that... Uh, you can't break his stats with Knights. You just can't. Or you shouldn't try to, I guess I should say, because Blade Grasp, for some reason... 
I couldn't tell you why, but for some reason it does count for night breaking abilities, including like mind rune and power rune and all that, so if we're gonna lower stats, we're gonna wanna do that via dancing, but unlocking dancer with dynamite would be a pain in the ass because I'd have to get Lancer all the way up to level four, which I couldn't do with just the propositions. However, however, and this is a big one, I realized that in order to unlock the mime job class in 1.3, all you need to do is get level 2 with every job that isn't a dancer, a sage, a ninja, or a samurai. Now, as you can see, we have every other class, except for mediator, up to level 2. So Dynamite's going to be a mediator for these next few fights in an attempt to unlock mine before Limberry Castle. And she's got the Chocobo Gun Flash Hat, Black Costume, and Salty Rage. She also has Defense Up. Uh, I was working towards Defense Up because... It's probably going to be useful on some of these side quest missions, so I got that on quite a few characters. I also got Magic Defense up on quite a few characters. Uh, magic Defense up will be more useful, or more immediately useful, I guess, because, again, that Limberry Castle fight is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> and I think that might help us actually survive long enough to get the steals we want to get. Uh, Shima. Alright, so Shima here, she is a sage, just for the simple fact that she was really close to damage split. So this is where she ended up after all the propositions, only 40 points away, so we can just knock that out real quick. It basically doesn't matter whether she'd be a sage or a wizard or whatever. She's still doing the same thing, more or less. She has a Mito, though, because I know that some of these guys start very close to us on this next map, so hopefully we can bait them into attacking her. They probably won't attack Dynamite, because she has both the Salty Rage and Defense up, so... Yeah, I'm thinking that Shima's the next best choice. Void is doing Void things. Air Knives are now purchasable, so I was able to get a second one of those. He's got Time Magic. I did buy the Reflect spell from Time Magic as well, so that might be useful in some of these fights coming up. But yeah, two Air Knives now, so we can do ridiculous damage with that. Uh, Steven, he didn't actually go on any proposition, so he's the same. As for Void, I didn't really know what I was doing with him, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> so I just kind of started working him towards Bard, so maybe he can get move plus three at some point. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, I also got defense up on him. I don't know how useful that'll be because I kind of like having him more uh, more of a DPS kind of thing, right? But uh, he does have both magic defense up and defense up. If I need him, I guess we'll see. Other than that, though, let's just give it a shot, man. Jerminus Peak. Not a particularly hard fight, in my opinion. Or at least it shouldn't be for my team. I, I can't see it being that difficult. Alright, so here's what we got. Everybody's in the back because, again, I remember these guys having stupid high movement. Like, stupid high, bro. So, <laughs> if we can start far away from them, we can at least pull them forward and hopefully sort of stagger the enemies a little bit so that we're not facing one giant group. The last thing we want to do here is run into the middle of everything, so... Yeah, I think that this should be good. If you want to pass, leave your money. And get your hand off of that sword if you want to live. <laughs> I don't know why he sounds like that. Boss, this guy's wanted. Yeah, with a huge bounty. Maybe it's better to kill him and get the reward than to take their money now. I don't know, I got like 100,000 gil, man. Yeah, I saw his face on a wanted poster. We're no bounty hunters, but what the hell? Let's kill him for the gil. And, uh, that was probably about the worst mistake of your life, bud. So, conditions for winning. Defeat all enemies. Shouldn't be too bad. We got a lot of class variety here on this map, though. Two sages, two samurai. As you can see, this Excalibur thing is ridiculous. So we got 11 speed. And it also gives us haste. So we get the first turn right here. So let's let's actually look at these guys real quick. We got Zack the Hell Knight. With two Sasuke knives. Aren't these, like, the best knives? Or, like, some of the best knives? Or, like, not knives, but some of the best ninja swords, I guess. He's got 12 attack power, and they each give a point of speed. Okay, so this guy is fast as hell, and yeah, we we're able to outspeed this guy. So just keep that in mind. Excalibur's kind of insane like that. Rubber costume, Hamido, and he's a Hell Knight, actually. Okay. And we got Carolyn, also a Hell Knight. Oh, she's got the Iga and Koga knives. 16 attack power, strength in Earth, and it's Wind Elemental. And I'm guessing the Koga knife... Yeah, strength is win. Okay, yeah, because these two are like a pair, basically. I'm pretty sure you can only get these in the deep dungeon, which is like the secret bonus area, basically. 
Uh, Sent Yimps and, ooh, I can poach these though, I think. Oh, they have maintenance. Do they both have maintenance? Yeah, they both have maintenance. I was actually kind of thinking maybe, uh, maybe take the loss reset and bring steel, but it wouldn't matter. We also have Arnold the Samurai Sword Spirit, actually. What? Why does he have that? Hello? That's Elmdor's thing. Come on, bro. <laughs> Just let me have some fun here. So he wasn't too special, honestly. Magic attack up on both these guys, though. He has items, so he gets to die. He gets to die soon. <laughs> uh, Sword Spirit again, Hamido. These two girls kind of start really far away, so... Not really worried about these sages, not gonna lie. HP restore, short charge, of course. Yeah, short charge is basically standard. I would say on just about every magic enemy. Well, prove me wrong, why don't you? But it's really common, though, so... Okay, she actually has a bandit, so that's kind of annoying. With a feather mantle on top of that. Although we do have dynamite with a gun of all things, right? So that might be something to do. Let's go ahead and just yell at Void, honestly. Like so. Get his ass in gear. We gotta go. Now, hopefully, they do attack Shima. Hopefully, Hamido. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> We're not doing it for damage or anything. We're just doing it to not die, basically. And they're probably going to attack my G because it's mid-charge. But we do have defense up. Yeah, so we're good either way. Auto potion. Hey, our reactions are actually playing along for once. So that's good. <laughs> they're so hit or miss, man. But they're so important, too. So we yell at Void. And now we can match that Hell Knight that ran at us. Not the guy, but whatever her name was. Carolyn. We can match her. And we can even get a side shot like so. And this should put her really low. Might even kill her if she doesn't get MP switch. Yeah, look at that. Two air knives, man. There goes the MP switch. All right. But that's fine, honestly. Let's just throw out last song and maybe cheese this fight a little bit, honestly. Last song is so, so good. With my G coming up again. I'm thinking we just yell at Shima. And that is why starting the fight with haste is so insane. Because you see my G moved before half their team, more or less. Why was that only a 46 haste on yourself? What? Does she have any faith at all? Oh, sure. Just throw out Masamune. Sure. Not like those are rare. They actually get a double haste. So that's kind of bad, I would say. But I think we'll be fine. I hope we'll be fine. Yeah, you saw my G actually got two turns before anybody in the back even got to move a single time. So that's pretty ridiculous, I want to say. Now with Dynamite, because she actually has the Chocobo gun, we can just shoot this chick in the back. Goodbye. <laughs> so that takes care of that. Shima can move in. It looks like... I want to say that Drawout has two vertical tolerance. So if I move here, I should just be able to Heaven's Cloud. Yeah. Looks like it, yup. Okay, so that's gonna do a ton of damage to both these dudes. And maybe we even get a slow, honestly. Hell Knights aren't immune to that. Oh my god, 250? Are you serious? We must have really good compatibility with those guys. I honestly didn't check. <laughs> maybe I should have, but... Hey, we take those. 250 da- Good god! She's not even a wizard, dude! So what's this guy gonna do? Probably a ton of damage. A million damage. Chirajir Zen. We'll be seeing that a lot, I'm sure. <laughs> and it just blows away, man. Damage split should get all the damage we need on that guy in order to take him out easily, I wanna say. God, if we have compatibility like we did the first time, we can just draw out and knock him out instantly. And I wanna say Void can honestly kill that guy with a with a throw, right? Because he had Hamido. Yeah, but if I just throw something at him, that's whatever, really. He's he's hasted, so I kind of want to take him out. Uh, this guy is hasted, too, though. Can I? Oh, I can if I get behind him. I should probably kill this guy, though, right? 32, 32. What's my G at? 76. Yeah, so we'll take out the ninja, actually. That's probably for the best. Throw a Yagyu Darkness. You can buy these in the store now. So, yeah, the shop's getting upgraded after you beat Bethel Garrison. The Hell Knight gets a turn right away, but now he has to choose between reviving or power sourcing himself. Looks like he's going to bring himself back. That's fine. You saw how easy it was to kill him the first time, so it's not like that changed. Oh, also this guy has a unique portrait, I guess. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's not the normal ninja portrait. 
Now, hopefully, some last song cheese is about to happen. Let's hit Shima. Oh, yup, yup, yup. I moved Void in a really stupid spot, though. Because I can't, like, I can't draw and hit both these guys. Actually, I'm not sure I could have to begin with, really. I missed that. Who did we hit? We hit my G, we hit Shima. Dynamite's not moving. Uh, my G should honestly be able to just spirit surge this guy, so I'll attempt to kill this Leo dude. Oh, wait. Is... I can never remember. Scor... Yeah, Shima is the Scorpio. Now, I'll tell you what. We will draw it on this guy. Just because... My G can definitely kill the other Samurai, and I still need to get uh, JP on Dynamite. That's the whole reason she's a mediator after all, so we don't want to neglect her in this fight. Even though we could probably do it without her, to be honest. I think that these guys, I don't know, the fact that they have so much movement just works against them. Like, look at that. They're all up in our face, but they have no turns. Is this Spike? That is Spike. So yeah, hopefully this goes through. I guess it doesn't have to, but that'd be nice if it did. If not, he's just gonna run away anyway, so it's not like a big deal, really. The other dude, we can just shoot with dynamite. He dodges, of course. Of course he does! 70% my ass, man. I don't think Samantha could do anything here, truthfully, because if she runs in, I'm so sure the Void's gonna get a turn. It's a hasted ninja, bruh. She can't do anything big, anyways. Yeah, she's gonna die, <laughs> like, well before that goes through. And Spike, since he's so low, he's just gonna heal himself, most likely. He doesn't even have power source, so that's really good. Yeah, that guy's just bad, <laughs> honestly. I don't see what he's supposed to be doing. And Void, uh, yeah, you kinda, you kinda messed up here, girl, not gonna lie. Did you forget who this was? Nice abandoned, by the way. Not really sure how well that works with uh, casters like that, honestly. Just because they uh, they have to lose all their evasion to charge their spells, so it's like... It's kind of anti-synergistic, honestly. I'm going to yell at uh, Dynamite there just so she can hopefully start shooting these guys in the face that much faster. Aw, oh, crap. I didn't even realize Zack was still here. Fortunately, he's a moron. Yeah, that's really good for me. Uh, what's not so great is that uh, I could have definitely done this better. Yeah, I'm kind of dumb. <laughs> Why did I move my G there? Look at that. I could have killed all of those dudes instantly with Shima. I'm honestly about to do it anyways. Just because they literally all will die. Yeah, honestly, my G. Sorry to say, you're going to bite it definitely gonna bite it because that's four kills like how can I pass up four kills instantly maybe he even gets quicked and the game can bail out my stupid self no of course not oh well uh, I'm, I'm so sure they'll all die I'll shoot this guy though yeah I'll shoot that guy because he may or may not live 135 yeah we're gonna get there for sure so I'll just move here I'll shoot the other guy who's hasted Oh my gosh, why is she so strong? She has like best combat with all of these dudes. Yeah, I'll just shoot him, honestly. And then Shima is gonna kill everybody. Like everybody, dude. <laughs> Including my G, sadly, but it'll be fine. Trust me, I'm a doctor. I'm not really a doctor, if you must know. So that's... Oh, he lives! <laughs> he lives, though! Oh my god, destruction. Draw out mages, man. Not to be trifled with. I think Void is gonna... Oh, I guess not. Sadly. If she does have a bandit, so that can be kind of annoying. Of course, Dynamite can always just shoot her in the face. Or we can <laughs> get the 12% miss. That works, too. We definitely take those. Definitely take those. So, I think the fight is over, but... Where did we end up here? At like 150 at least? Yeah, okay, that's enough. We'll be able to finish that on the next fight easily. So, uh, yeah, this fight, not very hard, I would say. Especially when we get lucky with the compatibility like that. It definitely, they had to be, right? They had to be good compatibility with us. At least some of them. There's no way. 
Like, Void is good, but I don't think he's 210 damage on a neutral hit good, you know what I mean? Either way, that wouldn't have really changed what I was doing there. Thief hat, black costume, Jerminus boots, okay. Still can't buy thief hats, by the way. You can buy black costumes, though, so that's, uh... You might want to pick up some of those because they give, like, a shit ton of HP, honestly. It's like 120 or something like that. Probably the best item you could have for light, uh, light armor users. Like, at least in terms of durability, anyways. Now for this next fight, uh, we're gonna go back to short charge because it's like, it's nothing but undead, man. So short charge for you, short charge for you. And uh, arrow guard for everybody also because there's some snipers, or snipers, whatever they're called in this game. Archers, marksmen, I, I can never remember. But anyways, we want arrow guard on literally everybody yet again because that basically blanks two of the enemies completely. All right, man, let's do it. Hueskis Lake, fight number two. Yeah, this one's actually not very hard either, at least not for my team. Again, I think that having white magic on two people is going to help a ton. A ton, because guess what? It's another monster fight, or another undead fight anyways. So, everybody here is susceptible to full light. And something like this should do. Either, <laughs> either this is what I want, or it's the exact opposite of what I want. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but basically, there's a few casters on this map. And the rest of them are like marksmen or ghosts. And they're all undead, much like that fight back at the Yu-Gi-Oh! Woods. So we should be able to one-shot basically all of these guys in theory. This is another really good fight from Estadio if you trained him. Honestly, you don't even have to train him like that. If he had Seal Evil, I could have just brought him like right now, even though he's level 10. He's just that good here. Who disturbs our sleep? You have the Zodiac Stones. Then hand it over. With that, we can go to a higher dimension. Oh, don't worry. I'll send you on your way just fine. For Poeskis Lake, defeat all enemies. Again, that should be very, very easy. My G has short charge, and he's also hasted. So, yeah, first turn just like that. I'm pretty confident we can get a full life off, which we can. What are our compatibilities looking like? 67 Faith, Aquarius. That's fine. So you are dead, probably. <laughs> I think I have to move, right? So I can move here. One, two, three, four. Yup, that's perfect. So we're gonna stand right about Mia. And throw out a full life to this chick. She should be dead. 93% of the time. We wanna kill the summoner immediately because she's basically the only problem. Well, I say that the ghosts, like, so they can they can stop you, okay? And that can be pretty bad. Although Dynamite can actually clear that. So can my G, I think. Oh, did I buy heal? I might not have bought heal. Did I? Because the squire skill, he. Oh my god, I'm so trash. <laughs> this clear stop, which could have been nice, because these, again, the ghosts can do that. They also, in case you forgot, they have blade grass by default, so we have to kill them with magic. Or, like, draw out, you know? So. That's something to think about. Uh, these guys aren't too special. That guy didn't even have an ultimate spell. This guy has concentrate, so that could be something. Oh yeah, and all the guys on this map have teleport. Uh, but again, a weird thing with the AI is that they won't actually go beyond their movement range with teleport. So he's not going to move more than five spaces at a time, for example. The other guy did have concentrate. So he's not going to miss. At least not my G. The other guy, though, he's not hitting anything. Because the funny thing about this game, and it almost sounds like so specific that you think I'm making it up. But it's true. Uh, on maps that are considered night, of which this is one... Uh, you take a hit penalty with bows. I don't know exactly how much it is. I think it's like 10, 15%. Oh my god. That's gonna suck. <laughs> but yeah, you take a hit penalty with bows. So not only do we have arrow guard on basically everybody, but the guy without concentrate is gonna be even less accurate than that because it's a night map. So he's basically useless. Like, watch this. That was 31% on Shima. This guy's gonna be even less if he goes for her. They're actually gonna go for my G. But you see that guy has... Uh, Less than 100% hit. And it's not because of our class of aid either. It's because of the hit penalty thing. It's a weird little mechanic. It's kind of like the whole weather thing. Uh, where lightning attacks get boosted in heavy rain. And fire attacks get weakened in heavy rain. There's just so many things in this game that you never think about. Did he just crit me? He did. What an asshole. Man. <laughs> I don't think that matters like at all though. This guy looks like he might go for a stop. 
But again, we do have Dynamite who can just cancel that, and he doesn't even hit either way. Uh, she, I didn't buy these skills, but I guess at some point she hit a Mediator Crystal, and she has quite a few abilities unlocked for that, so that's good. <laughs> now with Steven, we're going to do the same song and dance here, last song, and try to cheese some crap out. My G, he can't be hit with magic at this point, which is good. I was kind of only doing that so that the Oracle wouldn't kill his ass, basically, because he's hasted. And even though the even though the Excalibur gives you haste at the start of the match, if you die, you lose that. It's not a permanent effect, it's just an initial effect, so it does wear off eventually. Now this guy had what? You are Sagittarius with 73 faith. Sagittarius to Capricorn is fine. The first hit was a 90-something, so I'm thinking you are dead as well. <laughs> so that's good. And we're just going to head on over this way. Yeah, this is going through. Easily. Easily. 100% cannot even miss. Worst thing he could do is, like, counter magic me, I guess. <laughs> like, I, I don't see what he's supposed to do. Really. And we have Scorpio. You have Capricorn. That's good, isn't it? It's neutral. And this guy is Scorpio. Okay, so we're going to draw it on this guy, I suppose. Yeah, we'll move here, draw out. And that's going to do like half at least. I'm sure. Because Shima is broken, as we saw in the last time. Gosh, he killed like three or four guys at the same time. 200 damage just like that. I don't even really have to go for uh, full life on that guy. Let's just bring back Void, honestly. And move in a little bit. I guess the hardest part about this is going to be making sure that Dynamite actually gets all the JP she needs. Jesus. Now, the one thing about these guys, I guess, would be the fact that they are undead, so they can come back. Just because I'm killing them in one hit doesn't necessarily mean anything. Uh, so they can easily just pop back as long as they are not petrified. Is there any other status that would really stop that? No, so I guess petrify would be the one if you plan on taking a little bit longer here. Does Blade Grass count for throw? Of course it does. God, <laughs> Blade Grass is so ridiculous. Now, unfortunately, because I used uh, Reflect on my G, we don't have enough MP for haste right here. But, oh well, we'll be fine, I think. Hopefully, we can hit Dynamite with some of these so that she can... Yeah, buddy. So that she can get the JP she needs, basically. Now, your faith is what? 55. That's pretty mediocre. 57... 46 and Leo 72 this guy I could just kill with my G I'm pretty sure oh it's bad combat so actually we'll go for the ghost I'll tell you what we'll go for the ghost he's a little bit more annoying anyways so we'll chill right about here and hit him up with another one oh they're actually gonna get their turns in first hmm. now I'll just yell at dynamite actually that's just gonna help us get through that a lot faster I could have probably went for a uh, a double life on that ghost and I think we would have got it through but I think this will work out a little bit better we don't want to hit the Leo we want to hit the Libra and this should be a dead marksman god look at void go that one away oh what is what is this I guess they have defense up because they should be doing 170 we'll still do it though just to lower him now we can kill him with a life we don't get don't act which is cool Steven can just hang out, honestly. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. What we're gonna do, we're gonna kill this guy. Because I do have item. Did I even have to move? I might have to, I might have to throw item, actually. Oh, yeah, look at me. I am trash. Interesting. It does current HP damage. I didn't know that. I thought it did max HP damage. See that? It only did 9 with the Phoenix down. We can just use an X potion, though. That's enough to take this guy out of our hair. So he's not gonna be stopping us or anything like that. I think it cures enough. What's he at exactly? Because if I don't have to move, I won't. I really doubt cures enough. I can't hit him. Nah, I gotta use life. But that's fine. We can just do exactly that. Hit this guy with life. Kill him. And as you can see, this map is kind of a joke. I mean, really. You have so many ways around what they can do here. As long as you kill the summoner. The summoner is a huge threat. Make no mistake. 
But as long as you have one or two good people with full life, it's like, what can they do? For real. How are they supposed to beat this? <laughs> what were they gonna do? And with this marksman being the only one left, he is the concentrate guy, I guess, but regardless, doesn't really matter. Please don't stop dynamite, though. Please stop, my G, if you're gonna do it at all. I, I just don't want him to stop dynamite because I, I still need to train her a little bit. I think she needs two more moves to actually hit level two, which she needs to do. Mm, yeah, two more moves, it looks like. So, as long as we can make that happen, I mean, this is pretty much a wrap, honestly. God, insane difficulty. More like insanely easy. Good lord. Yeah, look at that. I can just refute that. This does take away my haste if it hits, which it doesn't. Come on, that's just wasted time, man. I'm trying to get these JP. I guess I'll just weaken this guy to hell with it. Uh, we do still technically have one map after this, right? I mean, it's kind of a risk, though, because the next map is super, super quick. I don't know if I'll... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, man. Last song, though. Sing the night away, man. Steven is so good, is he not? I never thought Bards would be half this good, but here we are. Oh, no, that isn't the guy with Concentrate. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I should have just killed this damn ghost, <laughs> honestly. They're doing no damn good luck. 96. 96. My lord. Yeah, I should have just double lifed him because then I would have got all the JP right there. Oh, well. Nice. Quick the... Oh, my God. He quicked, like, everybody. <laughs> I'm actually not going to kill the ghost, though, because if I can just... Yeah, if I can just kill the ghost with dynamite instead... That's all the JP we need, basically. Void knocks his ass right out of here. Here's shot number one, and we got him. Now we just need one more, and we are done here, folks. Yeah, I'm just going to wait, and I'm going to cast another life. And that should basically do it. Life is pretty quick, so not really worried about this, honestly. Nobody should be coming back before I get that through. And let's get it for the game. Thankfully, it rounds up, so this guy will die, assuming we hit, which we do. Okay, there it is. And that'll be all the JP we need as well. Yep, job level up. Cool, cool. Man, just breezing through these maps. Honestly, I never really found this fight too hard, just because everything is undead like that. So you have a few different ways to do it. You can either spread Petrify if you want to take it a little bit slower, or you can do what I did and just kind of destroy them with white magic immediately. You do need full life to one-shot them, but even regular life is plenty, as you saw. Now we have these clowns. I see you have no intention of agreeing with our arbitration. That's right. His Excellency's wish to unify the kingdoms. Rather, until King Oranas is recognized as the true king, we won't stop fighting. As long as the Bayals live, we won't give up. Very driven, this Dysodar. Who do you think let you assassinate Duke Larg? What a thing to say. Larg was killed by someone sent by the non-ten. Or are you saying you sent the assassin? I'm saying that you're full of shit. <laughs> so you're definitely not going to cooperate. If we wanted to, we could easily beat you. Don't forget that. I'm not so sure about that, Dysodarg. Honestly. Us. Do you remember what the poison was that took out the Hoguten? I think it was extracted from Moss Fungus. Right. Unless you take large doses, it won't kill you. But even a small amount over a long time can be deadly. Over time, you develop symptoms similar to a cold. You're not fully aware of your conditions until it's too late. Nice Dark doesn't like this. <laughs> Didn't your father die from cold complications? What are you saying? I'm saying you're an asshole, Dyson Dark. What's it sound like I'm saying? I heard you know a lot about poison. So, what are you saying? God, can you say anything else? 
No, I swear it wasn't me. Uh, if you bury a body with moss fungus, the moss fungus begins to grow out of the body. Do you know that? Ah, shit. Yeah, now do you know what I'm saying? Hmm, such trivial things. Oh, yes. I've got something for you from the high priest. Oh, damn it. Here we go. What's this? It's a holy zodiac stone from Euron. He'd like you to have this to show his trust in you. Well, I'd like him to not have that to save me some time. And yes, sir. Zalbag overheard everything. But what will he do? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Honestly. Man, you know what? This next one is so quick and dirty. It's like, whatever, man. If I lose, it's gonna take like two seconds. If I win, it's gonna take like two seconds. It doesn't really matter. So with this one, right? My G starts where he starts, so it doesn't really matter what I do with him, honestly. Uh, so we can do like this, this. Uh, where's Steven? The only thing that I really changed was I gave Steven a quip gun and the chocobo gun because I, I need to just basically do as much damage as I possibly can in as short of a time as I possibly can. That's the only real trick to this map. Because the game lies to you! It's actually a defeat the boss type mission, so... Yeah, we just have as much damage as we can possibly get. I also have Whale Whisker just in case I need to move a little bit further. Uh, where's, where's Void? Here we go. Yeah, so we're basically just spec'd out for as much damage as possible. If anything, I just want to see how this goes because I'm not entirely sure what the AI will do at the gate of Limberry Castle. It really just depends on how they feel. If they want to be dumb, this can be the easiest fight in the world. If they want to be smart, this could be... Not hard necessarily because at the end of the day we only have to kill one enemy, but it could take some tweaking, honestly. I guess we'll see. Nobody here. Are these ruins really deserted? The entrance is open. God, if only it could be that easy. Something's not right. I fe this feels like the time I faced Kecklin, or however you say his name, and Valius, the devil. Welcome to Limberry Castle. Oh no, not these people. Oh lordy lord, we've been waiting for you. We have a warm welcome for you. Oh no, I hate these two, I really do. They're just so OP, man. We'll burn you to death, so don't run away. If anything, that would be a great reason to run away, Letty. I think, damn, a trap. I wasn't paying attention. Which one was that? <laughs> I'm sorry, you just kind of look the same. Conditions for winning, defeat all enemies, which is a lie. We only have to defeat Silly or Letty. Either one will do. And it looks like, I, I, I swear that's Letty, right? I think this is Letty, she starts closer. Perspective's a little weird. Yeah, we gotta take her out, basically. And uh, since I still have that Excalibur crap, I'm gonna just charge a Holy on her. Oh, I'm gonna move first, I guess. <laughs> I want to charge Holy on her though just to make her move because if not she can probably just seal me and run away but if I move over here uh, I feel like she's more inclined to move towards the rest of my group there's no way in hell this is going through because she can just use seal like I say I'm not actually immune to that I might have to change that but if I like if I'm immune to petrify then she can just charm me and if I'm immune to charm she can just instantly one shot me so it's like <laughs> pick your poison man she's gonna kill my G immediately basically uh, Celia can't do crap from back there. We can start by shooting her with Steven. Now, they actually both have 100 Braves, so it's like... Their reactions will go off. I think she has... What? She has CT save. Okay, so she's getting CT save every single time, but I'm not sure that I care. If Steven went, then Void is coming up right next because they have the same amount of speed. So that's 96. Here's 110, and she's already almost dead. I can't believe she literally moved right to, like right into my group's range, man. Are you serious, Letty? You see that? Seriously, she came right for me! As if she was gonna do something. Honestly, I might have just won right off that. Right off her own stupidity, I may have won. I may have lost, too. I mean, it really just depends. She, Like, you can see they have a bunch of a pandas, right? And I'm pretty sure they can do Bio 3. Which does have a chance for instant death, as you can see. Now, if they actually instant death on Shima, that could be bad. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, Dynamite is the Sage, Shima is the uh, is the Wizard. I know that's probably confusing because they're usually the opposite, but I, I wanted Dynamite as a Wizard potentially because they have more magic, and Shima has the draw out crap. But I have the Whale Whisker for more movement, so 
yeah, it's it just works out better this way. And they do actually get the dead on Shima. God damn it. <laughs> she for sure would have been able to put Letty down. You don't actually have to kill them, you just have to crit them. And petrify and void. What luck, man. But because we actually got all those uh, CT saves, that does mean the Letty moves right now. So maybe I can even get a spell off to do it. I I don't know. Yeah, Steven is dead as hell. Now honestly, even if like even if I can't get this off, I'm just gonna do the same thing, truthfully. <laughs> and it'll probably work out. Letty's all the way or Celia's all the way over here though. So maybe she can't reach. Celia can't even stop me, dude. <laughs> so I can probably just cast a spell on Letty and win. I'm gonna try. With a holy. That might be enough. Do I have dark holy? I actually don't. Oh, uh, man. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be really close. Yeah, if Void didn't get petrified or if Shima didn't get 20% dead procced, I think we would have won guaranteed. And like I say, I'm probably just gonna do the exact same thing and win because this fight is not that hard, but I'm also kinda lazy. Hey, that might be enough. Let's see. Yep! <laughs> and that is the whole fight. I swear to you that. If you want your dear sister back, be brave and enter. Be brave indeed. Because this next fight is bullshit. <laughs> we'll be waiting inside. Hurry up. God, let he calm down. Alma! Finally, we can rescue our sister here. Sorry for leaving you here for like 10 years, Alma. <laughs> Not 10 years, but it was like a year that she's been kidnapped by this point. Oh, 108 gems, jade armlet, and angel ring. That's actually really nice because all of those are useful, potentially, in the next fight. By the way, this is another uh, point of no return type situation. So once you enter Limberry Castle, you have to be prepared for... Not only the outside Limberry Castle fight, but then two more fights inside as well. Similar to the Wii Grab fight at Riavana's Castle, just throwing that out there. Don't come here if you're not ready, basically. On the other hand, can you ever truly be ready for 1.3 Limberry Castle? Because Jesus Christ. Velius and Quicklin are both gone. We're the only ones alive now. Adramelk's caught in the loophole. Don't worry about him. He'll soon be summoned to the other side. Did they find a suitable body for him? Yes, the Zodiac Stone chose one. Just as they chose us, the stones will choose the body. Now, what could Vorma be talking about? Hmm. Oh, shit. I have a full party. <laughs> oh, no. I hope I can kick people from the next menu, man. So I just I just remembered that because I saw Vormav and then I realized oh we actually get a party member at the end of all this, so yeah don't don't win the next two fights without a free space in your party by the way. Really, now we have to bring back the bloody angel using the ultimate power. Then even without the stones or a suitable body, we can come and go at our will. Did they find a good body for Angel? Don't tell me it's that girl. I love the translation in this game. It's just so good. <laughs> there's only one er, there's only one body suitable for Angel. That girl. Now he must find the way to the dead city. He's here. I lured him into the castle. What shall I do with him? Wh why didn't you just kill him? <laughs> I've been waiting for you, my G. Payback time for what happened at Riavanas. Be careful, he's strong. He even beat Bellius. Don't worry about me. I have Blade Grasp, and that shit's totally OP. Let me handle it. Go find the way to the dead city. Okay, be careful. God, I hate this fight, dude. <laughs> it's so bad. Alright, I'm going. And go he shall, but not today. Uh, I think three is good enough, <laughs> honestly. So, with that said... Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Next time we're going to take on probably like the hardest fight in Act 4 besides the end game, honestly. And uh, we'll probably die a lot. 
I can't imagine it going well because you already know we're stealing all that sweet swag. You know I'm not about to leave that on your boy Elmdor. Anyhow, leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts as well, and I will catch you guys on the next one. See you then. Peace.